What up, YouTube fam? This is your girl, Mommy So True. How you doing? It's a beautiful day. I hope you're doing good. I hope you are staying, staying strong and standing strong. And I hope you are still thriving out of narcissistic abuse. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my new subscribers. I love y'all already. Thank y'all so much. You know, the main purpose of this channel is definitely to educate and to bring self-awareness to what a lot of us are dealing with. Y'all, three families, three. Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three. Baku, mienu, miensa. Okay, that's three different languages. Spanish, English, and tree. Okay, three families have been killed by a narcissist. I'm going to share these stories with y'all and I'm telling y'all what's happening in this world because this is serious. An overcritical parent, that parent that thinks it's okay to belittle the kids, belittle the mom in front of the kids, say some of the worst and some of the most demeaning things in front of the kids, push, shove, and slap the mom in front of the kids. That's narcissistic behavior. It's beyond domestic violence and just toxic. The person is narcissistic because now they're mental and they're possessed. On January 10th, which was this past Tuesday, Cindy Klaus, a 35-year-old woman, was found dead Saturday along with two of her daughters. They died a week ago today. But the story came out Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. 35 killed with her two daughters. <sighs> she was killed along with her two daughters in a murder suicide over the weekend. I don't know why I'm saying this. I don't know who needs to know this. I don't know why this came up. This was her long-term boyfriend of 34 years old. Somebody close with her age. You would think that, you know, being with somebody close in age would be beneficial. This was the father of the children. And he killed himself. Somebody stopped by the house to check on them and noticed that one of the daughters was unresponsive through her bedroom window and called 911. The article also goes on to say that he shot them. And this was all due to the fact that she was planning to leave him. That part of the story triggers something within me because a lot of people bash because a lot of people bash men and women who stay in abusive relationships and come off as if they're not trying to leave nobody with children wants to be in an abusive relationship nobody chooses to be in a relationship even if they don't have kids they don't choose to be in an abusive relationship what happens is when you are in an abusive relationship more specifically dealing with a narcissistic person in her situation this was completely a malignant narcissist the violent one the killer go watch my other video where i show you what malignant narcs are all about and, and how they intend to really kill. Forget the destroying and the stealing. They do that. But they really intend to kill you. Take you out. They'll take your kids out. They are possessed. They are possessed. Their hearts and their minds are completely possessed. This man killed her because she was trying to run away. She reached out to a coworker and a friend and told them that she was trying to leave. You know, when I hear that, I say, 
yes, it's hard to leave. Yes, it's hard to plan. Yes, it can seem like you're completely stuck with one of these people, especially when you have kids involved. But the world needs to learn the importance of moving in wisdom. You have to be careful how you move when you are dealing with narcissistic people, when you are dealing with people with this extent of toxic behaviors. You have to literally become slick, smart, and sneaky. You have to be completely silent in your planning and in your movement. These people watch you like a hawk. They know your every move. They know how you are trying to leave. They know they know you want to leave. They know. They know they're abusing you. They know that you are tired of it. They know you're tired of crying. They know you're tired of looking at all the contusions and bruises and cuts on the outside and the inside of your heart. They know you are sick and tired of being stabbed by knives and you have to pretend like, I still love you, it's okay. They know you tired for real. And the more they know you're tired, the smarter they try to become and you have to be careful. She was trying to get out of this y'all and the devil had already successfully put his plan into place. It was already too late. In my opinion, when you know you're dealing with someone like this, there really is no planning. It's just go. You need to learn how to cut people off with no remorse. I know that sounds so crazy and you might say, what do you mean? How do you just go? Go! Run for your life and don't look back. Take those kids, forget the clothes, forget the money, forget a suitcase. I don't care. Go take those kids and don't look back. Run for your life. Don't give the devil time to kill you while you were trying to get out the door. As soon as you know in your heart you need to go, go. This is so so sad because it's like gosh how do you even advise or how do you even talk about something like this because the fact of the matter is everyone doesn't make it out of this because of lack of education y'all that's why I'm talking about this maybe she didn't really know what she was dealing with that's why she was maybe planning and 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 trying to get out of there maybe she was hopeful for a long time because she had children. There's so many reasons why we stay and we let these people trap us in our minds and keep us trapped in their lives and in their houses. We we're afraid to go out here and struggle. We're afraid to take care of those kids by ourselves. We're afraid to go live in a homeless shelter. But sis, if this is you today, bro, if this is you today, take those kids and, and run for your life. I don't know why I'm saying that. This is so sad. Her sister told the news reporter that she reported that he was controlling. But that no one thought he'd commit such an act. Of course not. We all know that a narcissist has everyone on the outside thinking that they are so incapable of killing you. They got everybody around you fooled. And you start believing that they could potentially be a good person. No, they are not. They've shown you over and over and over that they are not a good person at all. Are they even a person? At this point, you are a demon. Where is the person in you? You ain't got no heart if you gonna kill your own kids. She said, we never expected him to be capable of hurting her or the girls. There was a side of him we didn't know. The family usually don't know. Your family don't know you're being abused because you so busy trying to cover up for this man or this woman. You so busy trying to protect your marriage. I was there. I didn't have kids, but I was like, oh, 
I got to protect my marriage. Let me not tell everybody that I'm being abused. Let me not tell everybody that he cocked a gun out on me and was about to shoot my little cute head off. No. Run for your life. The sister could have probably helped her many, many times years ago. Maybe when she first got pregnant, even before she got pregnant. If the signs were recognized for what they were. You feel where I'm coming from, you guys? This is so heartbreaking. They were they described this girl as a goofy girl. She loved with her whole heart. That sounds like a lot of us. We love these these murderers with our whole heart. Okay? She worked in a nursing home. That tells you what kind of heart she had. She was a pet lover, had chickens and goats and pigs and dogs. That sounds like me. This resonates with me because this could have been me. If I didn't gather my strength and say, oh my God, let me run for my life. I am now in the process of trying to do, do my life completely over. You guys, and that's me being completely honest. Me coming out of that, that crazy relationship, that domestically violent, toxic unloving relationship with this malignant narc i'm ready to start my life completely from scratch i don't care if that means i have to leave where i'm at sell my home and buy a new home somewhere else i don't care i have to protect my life that's what you need to think about she loved with her whole heart she wanted to be a dermatologist she loved babies. She wasn't done having kids. She wanted more. She loved her. One of her daughters with a, was in eighth grade. The other, the other was in fourth. Her kids were kind, responsible, friendly. They were always smiling. Always doing the right thing. They were great students. My heart. You guys, my heart. Then five days into the new year, we had a situation in Utah where a man killed his family after the wife filed divorce. Okay, this 42 year old man shot seven members of his family before he killed himself. <laughs> a family of eight found dead. The victims included his wife, his five children, and his mother-in-law. My God. He opened fire on his 40-year-old wife, his 78-year-old mother-in-law, his five children, and himself. The children were 17, 12, 7. Those were girls, three girls and two boys that were seven and four. I filed for divorce on the 21st of December, 2022. These people become so possessed and obsessed with you because you continue to give them the supply. You continue to stay for years and years and years and eventually it's like, what What you mean you leaving? If, if I can't have you, nobody else can. And I know a lot of y'all have heard that dealing with a narc. Or they've shown actions when you've tried to leave, they've threatened to kill you. They mean it. I'm telling you these stories to tell you that these people mean it. And you can't take it lightly when they threaten you because they mean it. This goes on to say that this woman was also a kind and generous person. She never said anything bad about anyone. She would give the shirt off her back. How many of us <laughs> was that? Or how many of us are that loving and that giving? So many of us have been hurt by a narc and we leave 
And we still think about them and miss them and wonder, you know, what if they change? What if <sighs> you go back more and more and more? You're just helping them plan your death. You're helping them plan the murder of your entire family. That is heartbreaking, y'all. This this is this is extremely heartbreaking. This is happening as we speak. Someone is killing their children, their wife, their husband, something. Some type of vicious narcissist is killing their children with poison. We got some narcissistic moms feeding their children poison intentionally, trying to keep them sick. Not just for a check from the government, but to actually eventually kill them. Maybe to get that life insurance check. These people are cold hearted. These people are evil. Story number three. A man with a history of mental illness opened fire in North Carolina, killing his wife and three children and then himself. Forty-five year old man with a history of mental illness. Let me remind y'all that there's levels to narcissism. A lot of these people have narcissistic traits, but majority have NPD, narcissistic personality disorder. They are completely mental patients and you are sitting here trying to love them. You sit here trying to be faithful. You sit here trying to pray it off of them. You can pray it off of them, but do it from, do it from a million states away. Get away. When somebody has shown you that they are this crazy and this capable of hurting you, don't play with it because they will when they get the opportunity, y'all. 45 years old, shot his 46-year-old wife, their 18-year-old, and two other children that were 16 and 10 a week ago from today. This is not common crime. These are not typical crimes. This is happening in the universe for a reason. This exposure needs to happen because a lot of families need to know that they're, the abuse behind what they're seeing mom and dad doing is not normal. And people need to really follow their intuition and really follow the strength that the universe is giving them to get away from these people. The devil is really here to kill, steal, and destroy. And the purpose behind this exposure is to help somebody to prevent being the next victim. This is beyond sad. I'm completely flabbergasted. I can only imagine I can only imagine what so many men and women are going through. And these kind of videos are very painful for me because you guys, I I just, man, like the children, why the children? I just don't understand, you know, like, how can you look those beautiful, innocent children in the face and take their lives away from them? You know, it's so sad. It's so heartbreaking. And I really pray for those of you who are still living with someone like this, that you really gain the strength and the wisdom to move wisely and really become a ghost to them. Disappear, fall off the face of the earth, change your name or something. Change all your kids' names. Be that, be that woman, be that man that gets away. Protect yourself, protect your peace. If you ain't about that life, if you ain't willing to kill them before they kill you, protect your family. 
Because they not playing. They not playing. Thank you for watching, y'all. I pray this helps somebody who is really dealing with this and struggling to really figure it out. I hope you figured it out. Don't let this be your story. Praying for y'all. Praying for the universe. Those of us that are hurting, those of us who feel trapped with someone like this because they're so scary to be around. I know it's so it's it's really hard being around this and living with this and then trying to get away. I know it's hard, but you got to muster up that strength to get the hell away before it's too late. I love y'all. Stay true. Stay blessed, stay strong, and I will see you guys next time.